Hey guys, Ella here. Today I got a really cool DIY project for you guys. I have been seeing these necklaces around a couple places and they're actually, I usually, like, the last place I saw them I didn't see them as a necklace. They were just like a keychain, but they're called Wish in a Bottle and you just take a little bottle that they supply you with and you write a wish on a piece of paper and put it in there. And I thought that they were a really cute idea, but I thought it'd be super easy to make it home as well. And so I went out and I got all this stuff and I decided to do just a quick DIY video for you guys because I love these necklaces so much. I think that they're so cute, just like this one. Um, I made a bunch of different kinds. Um, I did the Wish in a Bottle, but I also did some other versions of these little bottle necklaces that you can do, and I hope you guys enjoy them. So for the first necklace, which is our Wish in a Bottle necklace, you're just going to take some chain and measure it to the length that you want and then go ahead and cut it. I accidentally did it off camera. It's super easy. A lot of needle nose pliers actually come with the chain uh, cutters inside of them and it just takes a bit of pressure and it'll snap. And then you're going to take your jump rings and you're going to add one to each side of the chain. Just take your needle nose pliers and separate those and slip the jump rings through the chain and close one up and then on the other side you're going to put a jump ring through and then take your lobster clasp and link that through as well. You don't have to use a lobster clasp, um, there are multitudes of clasps out there. This is just my uh, favorite kind of clasp because it's super easy. Then you're going to switch to your bottle. For this you're just going to need the bottle, the glitter, and the clear nail polish. Um, if you are smart you will have a funnel or some means of easily getting the glitter into the tiny little bottle. I did not have a small enough funnel so I had to make one out of a piece of paper. I just poured the glitter into that. I used gold for this and I filled it up about a quarter of the way. Then I took a piece of printer paper and a pen and a pair of scissors and just snipped out a little piece of paper to write my wish on. And so then you roll that up and slip it right into your bottle and I just added a little more glitter on top for um, a fuller effect. And then you can cork your bottle for this. The best way to do it, um, I actually got this tip from a woman at the craft store, so shout out to her for helping me out. Um, I took a little bit of the clear nail polish and just brushed it along the lip of the glass vial and then put the cork in. After that, you're going to take another jump ring and separate that and add it to your chain. Afterwards, um, if you go back and check on your corked vial and it still doesn't seem quite set enough and you want to add a little more nail polish around the lip of the bottle just to keep it really in there. And then I could just separate the jump ring that's already attached to my chain and add the glass vial onto it. The second necklace you are going to go ahead and just do the same first few steps for creating the chain that you had in the first step. I did that off camera. And then you'll take the bottle and it's pretty much the same steps as the first one but we're not adding the piece of paper this time. So take your funnel and add whatever glitter you want. I went with the green glitter and then I added just a touch of gold to it. Once you've added your cork and a little bit of nail polish to hold it together, 
You're going to take the paper tape. Um, I actually would not recommend buying this. I would recommend getting actual labels that will stick to glass because this did not stick to the glass very well. But you're going to go ahead and write a little label on your glass vial. You don't have to label it, but I thought it would look cute. Then go ahead and stick that on your glass vial. Because mine did not stick very well to the glass, I took a little bit of that nail polish and just brushed it on the edges and held it for a little while and just kind of used it as a glue. Afterwards, it's the same steps as the first necklace. You just slip the corked vial through your jump ring So those necklaces are really simple and easy to do, and I love how they came out. I think they look so cute, but I love anything that's miniature. I really love the Wish in a Bottle thing, and I love the other ones that I tried. Um, I did a couple different versions. I did a Christmas cheer one, and I did a Polyjuice potion, because how can you not do a Harry Potter one? They're so easy. They took, like, no time. They took about five minutes each, and they came out really cute. I hope that you guys like them as well. Um, if you have any tips, tricks, or other DIY projects that you think are cool and would like to share with me, go ahead and put those in the comment below. I love DIY. I think they're so cool to be able to make your own things. Um, I've gotten a ton of compliments on this, on these necklaces just wearing them around, so I thought that it would be really cool to just share how to make them. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, hit the subscribe button if you have not, and I will see you next week. Bye guys! And it looks good with things, but it also keeps me very, very warm. I got it from Stitch Fix, so I actually don't really know, like, what the brand or anything is, or if it has a brand. But I got it from Stitch Fix, and I, I would explain what they are, but I'm not going to because...